From popes to saints, a million people, a million reactions. Starting with Boston's Cardinal, Sean O'Malley. Extraordinary, very, very moving, and uh, our new saints uh, arranged good weather for us. We're all grateful for that. It's a great joy, a great sense of unity, uh, and, uh, and you could see the reverence, too, with which people assisted at the Eucharist, and there wasn't, you know, a circus-like atmosphere. It was very respectful and prayerful. Uh, it was very moving. And I think uh, the continuity from John the 23rd, who in many ways brought the church into the modern world, to Francis, who is further expanding that, and the degree to which uh, the courage uh, and the clarity of John Paul II really defeated the Soviet Empire and brought freedom to hundreds of millions of people. To, to see all of that come together in one day uh, was remarkable. That's right, I met him in, in Dorchester because he got friends in uh, somewhere by, by Dorchester, High Park. His friend was over there, a priest. That's why I met Carol Voltaire Dea in 76. You must be a very happy woman today. Very happy. I dreamed about this so many years. So what Pope Francis is doing is building on uh, what uh, Pope John the 23rd, now Saint John the 23rd, and, and John Paul II built, and bringing it hopefully to fruition. And I think he is. Uh, it's an amazing experience. Uh, to give you a sports analogy, it's kind of like being at a World Series. And finally, a family of four from Ireland. I'll let them tell the story. <laughs> we were up at 3 o'clock in the morning and came down not expecting to be anywhere near it. We were just were praying the rosary just to say that the Holy Spirit will have you where you're meant to be. We are miles away and we and God works in mysterious ways and we met a priest who led us to another place, who led us to another place and a cardinal um, saw that my sister was having a baby and he gave us tickets to come right in. We were up in the sixth row right up beside everybody and enjoyed the experience completely. Ah, the luck of the Irish. In Rome, I'm Kirsten Johnson.